All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 4 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm going to start off by dividing every term by 25 to the power of x. So I get 4 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x. Now the 25 and 25 cancel out for 1, so now I have 4 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 4 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x turns into 4 over 25 to the power of x. And 9 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x turns into 9 over 25 to the power of x. From here, I can rewrite 4 over 25 as 2 squared over 5 squared. And I can rewrite 9 over 25 as 3 squared over 5 squared. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, remember, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 2 squared over 5 squared turns into 2 over 5 squared. And the same thing with 3 squared over 5 squared. So I get 3 over 5 squared. From here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So the 2 and x multiply. So I get 2 over 5 to the power of 2x plus 3 over 5 to the power of 2x is equal to 1. And this means that 2x is equal to 1. So now if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 1 half. So this is my solution. Please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this video. Bye. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 500 squared minus 499 squared. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is rewrite this as 499 plus 1 squared minus 499 squared. And... If I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So 499 plus 1 squared is turned into 499 squared plus 2 times 499 times 1 plus 1 squared. And I have this minus 499 squared. Now, I can cancel out 499 squared and negative 499 squared, so I'll be left with 2 times 499 times 1 plus 1 squared. 2 times 499 is 998, times 1 is just 998, and I have this plus 1 squared, which is plus 1, and this is equal to 999. Now, I actually have another method of solving this. So I have 500 squared minus 499 squared. And this time, I'm going to rewrite this as 500 squared minus 500 minus 1 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a minus b squared, this is equal to a minus b times a minus b, which is equal to if I factor the, this out, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. 
So this is going to turn into 500 squared minus 500 squared minus 2 times 500 times 1 plus b squared, which is 1 squared. So these two cancel out. However, this is actually going to be in parentheses. So the negative sign distributes. So this turns into 500 squared minus 500 squared plus 2 times 500 times 1, which is the same thing as 2 times 500, minus 1 squared. Now these two can cancel out. So I get 1,000 minus 1, which is equal to 999. So again, I get 999 as my answer.